Nerd, 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 nerdtabulous. Hey guys, it's Sarah Cosplay. And this is Corruption Cosplay with Nerd Tabulous. And today on Nerd Tabulous, it's the first Friday of the month, which means it's our Retro Review Day! <laughs> and today on our Retro Review Day, we'll be reviewing Star Trek Into Darkness. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> so, um, we're actually filming a Star Trek shoot right now in our Star Trek cosplay, so like, why not review a Star Trek film? Exactly. Alrighty, so... The opinions of this film, um, it's it's interesting, definitely interesting. It's shaky. <laughs> um, okay, so basically, you have this whole thing where Kirk is no longer captain because he saved Spock and stuff happened, and <laughs> now now this other person is captain, and stuff happens, and Ohura, you know, talks to Klingons and Khan and uh, Khan, Khan. Khan's great. I love Khan. Khan's great. He's really good. He shows up every other actor he's with on screen because he's been a cover batch and the guy's an amazing actor and any person he works with is just sh overshadowed by him completely. So the scene where they're just like, oh my gosh, my favorite is when he says, I am Khan. Yeah. And he makes it such a big deal. And then Kirk just stares at him like, why should I care? <laughs> That's By the, the way, best speaking part. of Kirk, um, Chris Pine is Kirk in this film. You actually look like Chris Pine, so... And, and you know, it's fitting other that you than have, the eyes. <laughs> it's fitting that you have that specific yes. Kirk shirt. <laughs> but, so this film, uh, all I can say really is a lot of stuff goes, oh, Kirk dies, but then because Khan, he's alive again, because blood transfusion. stuff, and, and it works like that. And Tribbles it, come back to life, too. I don't yeah. Know. I don't know. It's weird. Tribbles are adorable. <laughs> they are. Tri they tribbles are, are love. Tribbles they can come back to life. They're fine. They're so cute. <laughs> It's like a little powder puff. Oh my gosh. If I had made this movie, the ending I would have given this film is I would have I would have had Kirk still be dead in a cryo tube. <laughs> dead? He would have been dead in a cryo tube and then Khan would have gotten away. And then you could have done Star Trek 3, The Search for Khan. That could have, it, that would have been so cool. And it would have been this awesome traveling to each planet and seeing different aliens and going to all these places chasing after him. And then it would have been a whole extra action movie that you could have done. But That's, that actually, I like that idea. And now they're doing Star I Trek I like Beyond. that idea. You know. <laughs> so, um, it's question time. And it's from Mary in St. Louis. And she says, what is your favorite Star Trek series and why? Oh, me first. Oh, you okay. can go first. I don't care. So, my favorite, um, it's a toss-up between the original Star Trek series and Star Trek Voyager. Uh, I like the original Star Trek series just because it was the first one, and it was really goofy. You and like it because it was the first one. The first one of the series. <laughs> it was amazing. Um, <laughs> Best Kirk impression yes. ever. Uh, thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, You're welcome. But... No, I really like the original series and Voyager, I just like because all the characters are really um, well developed and I actually really like a lot of the stories that they go through and a lot of the places that they visit. Okay, okay. Yeah. So, I'm a Next Generation fan, so Star Trek The Next Generation has to be my all-time favorite. I'm also a huge fan of the original series, um, but I, I really like Generation um, because I like the different characters they have and all the different levels, though it seems like everyone in the show doesn't have a parent or their parent's dead now. Oh, yeah. It's like Date, Data's dead. Dead. Data is a well. He's a robot, so well, you know. Well, his creator, <laughs> Doctor Noonien Sung. Now he's dead. Okay. Yes. Uh, yes. And then you have Worf, who has adopted parents, sort of from Earth. And, and you have Worf's kid, whose mom's now dead. Wesley's dead. Dad's dead. Oh, everyone's, they're all dead. Everyone's Everybody's dead. dead. Everyone's dead. <laughs> but it's such an amazing um, series, and I love the different characters and the different levels for the characters. Alrighty. All right. <laughs> so it's rating time, and I guess. I'll give this film three out of five life points. It was, it was fine. I just the ending really kind of, kind kind of made, kind of made it go down for me. I mean, I like it, but the whole thing with Kirk just, I don't know. Three out of five life points. Yeah, I I'd probably give it a three and a half out of five life points. Three point five out of five. Um, just because the special effects on it are great. Um, they are. The opening sequence is probably one of my favorite Star Trek sequences ever, just because of how like how much it's like the original series. Just like they're yeah. on an adventure and it's just they're seeing these indigenous people and saving them and it's just it's original Star Trek just to a T and it's great. So three point five out of five life points. Pretty solid. Yeah. Cool, cool. 
Sweet. Um, so don't forget uh, to go online and like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned every week for more nerdy things and live long and prosper. Woo! Nerd, 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 nerd tabulous. Nerd, 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 ner